Hello everybody, welcome to the Super League semi-final. What an amazing occasion, we have the best player in the world up against some random French fella. Hey. Um, it is of course Dimmy G versus Olivier Dulac. Um, Olivier is the top ranked um, tabletop player, right, NAF player. Uh, that doesn't mean he's the best player in the world. That is a thing that some people say, but it's not true. <laughs> he's just the highest ranked in that format, right? Obviously, he's a very good player. But, you know, I think it's a bit ludicrous that people say that because would you say the highest rank rated player on Fumble is the best player in the world? No. Would you say that the best, you know, the Chalice winner on Blood Bowl 3 is the best player in the world? No. It's it, he's, he's, you know, he's the highest rated at one format. Um... You know he's been highest rated for a while, and uh, you know fair play to him. He has uh, he has done that, um, but I do think it's strange how tabletop players say that. <laughs> because for instance, um, Andy Davo was ranked third, and then he had a bad Euro Bowl, and now he's ranked forty third. Well, forty people didn't get better than him overnight, did they? Um, so like you know like it's just it's just is what it is, isn't it? I mean, I don't think that's true. I think the best player is is one of the best, you know, say twenty. But um, you know, uh, Triple Skull honestly said a really good thing about NAF ranking, which is it's a combination of skill, effort, and opportunity, which is uh, which is true, isn't it? You know, like at the end of the day, some people like you know spread their games around different races and whereas Olivier's focused them on rats and uh, also you know you could only go to tournaments where you get a better tiering uh, like say for example um, Necromantic I'm not this isn't a shot at Devo um, but like say Necromantic right can be either really good or really bad depending on the tiering so if you only played them when the tiering was really good you you know that's a bit of effort you can put in that regard and then obviously, you know, you need to be able to go to lots of tournaments, which Olivier can. So, you know, fair play to him for that as well. Um, so, yeah. So, after all that, I imagine Olivier chose to kick because after playing one game in Skaven, I would like to choose to kick. Uh, the, the bribes is interesting, right? That means Dimmy can get some fouls in, probably, because he's got zombies and there could be some juicy rats to kill. This time, Dimmy's protected his tackler. Very good. And, uh, yeah, Olivia, you know, he, he wants Dimmy wants to take out the Juggernaut because that obviously helps the one turn a lot. And the side step because that helps with the one turn a lot. Dimmy hasn't used a, root, uh, a skills pack. He's just gone for si the six basic skills. Three bludge, one rodge, ghoul, a tackler and a guard. And the tackler could be good. And Olivia's gone for a two-point package. A skills package which gets him the extra skill, which gives him uh, four different skills on gutters, a mighty blower guard, a juggernaut roger, and a leader. So there we go. So there's a gutter runner here. So yeah, from Dimmy we might just see the blitz foul every turn, right? That seems quite reasonable. He's got a long way to go to rescue this zombie, so he probably won't. I'm going to use EB25. No, probably not, to be honest. Might, might make my own rules. Um, we had the cross-platform cup, right, um, years ago, where we had more skills than normal. Ooh, that could, he could, that could have been a mighty blow hit from a mummy. Um, but didn't break AV anyway. So now he can get a foul in here, can't he, with two assist foul. With, um, with the bribe, of course. The problem with this is, if he does do that foul, then the tackler is open to a rogue blitz. So he may be better off not making this foul. Oh, we should probably dodge that guy. Okay, yeah, so he's not making the foul. I'm not allowing stunties because people shouldn't want to play them so they're not going to be allowed <laughs> in super league nobody should be wanting to use stunties so 
I'd rather not have that person play than use stunties, honestly. It's a toxic elite league, isn't it? It's crazy, right? Fouling a gutter with a bribe as well, and uh, he didn't do it. But yeah, I mean, it would have been inviting the rogue into the cage, right? So he couldn't really do it, unfortunately. It was currently eight in the early ranking. There you go. Yeah, like you just you just can't put too much stock into the ranking, can you? Because it's like, and plus it's only one format, right? I mean, you know. Who knows? Who knows what Chris would do if he played uh, tabletop or um, you know chunter, say if you like. Is that the fumble one? Wow, that's crazy. You just said Dave was it. <laughs> <laughs> you just said Dave was it. <laughs> Dave was in the semi final. <laughs> Sol's in it. Sol's third. Wow. And <laughs> Vault ninth. <laughs> and Olivier's tenth. Wow. There you go. Yeah, Sol's third. Dimmy's the champ. Dimmy's by, you know, just default the best. So I like that he's gone for the, uh, what's this? Vengabus. No, I wouldn't put it on stream. <laughs> um, the Vengabus, that's good, isn't it? Protecting his tackle. I like that Dimmy's adapted from the first game where he just got his tackle smashed to bits instantly. Now he's protecting his tackle, waiting for his chance. But the problem is the Roger might come in. Like He hasn't removed anything, as he? He's made one KO. He needs to remove rats. He needs to remove rats. And he's actually remo had one removed himself. Ideally, you want to take out the entire nest, but it certainly starts by removing some. Yes. Hello, PC. Hello. PC is, of course, a bit of a table topper as well, aren't you? And, of course, a former BBSL champ. I, I, yes, I think I can say yes to that. I, I won it in its very first season. Yes. Um, I do do some table topping, not as much as I used to, but I'm hoping to do some more in the near future. Mm. With Euroball 25 rules? <laughs> <laughs> uh, maybe that is causing me to rethink my priorities for next year a bit. Mm, me too. Me too, unfortunately. But, you know, we'll see. You just got to do it on a tournament by tournament basis, I guess, haven't you? Now, Dibby's still not in a terrible position here, is he? He's, he's solidly behind his nice two big mummies. He could position a tiny bit more centrally with them, maybe. He's got his ball nice and protected, more or less, in a cage. He's just not making a lot of progress and not removing rats at the moment. But this time... Yeah. Yeah, it's not bad play, is it? If you just if you don't get the removals, you don't get the removals. There's unfortunately not yeah. a lot you can do about it. No, he's got a nice solid driving shape with the white between the two mummies. And at least one of the mummies has been left to hit, so that will encourage him, but into a tight space, that's the problem with it. Mm. And you get the sense Olivier is quite happy to usher Dimmy into this little pocket on the left flank as we look. Yeah, what he can do is put in a player here and then block that one out and then blitz this one into the mummy if it's just a push, right? I think that's the answer. Which looks to be what Dimmy's doing. The fact he's moved that guy in already. I have to say, Doctor Hellboy, that is a fine-looking miniature. <laughs> well, that's pretty great, yeah. Man, he's got a big forehead. You'd have to, uh, you'd have to change that. That's it's fine, apart from the gigantic forehead. What were they thinking there? 
Seems weird to make like a cool miniature and then just give it a f not even a five head, a six head. A lot of head yes. Oh, he blitzed him. Oh, oh, I don't like that. Okay, so I don't like what Dimmy did there. What I would have done would have been a ghoul blitz there, and then so if you get the push, you get to then three dice him. Yeah, you get the exactly. You get the hit back. But leaving it on the mummy creates another problem. It's either got to dodge off or stay there or try another one die on the white, which I suspect is what it will do. It has meant that he's centralised behind this, you know, wall of mummy. Yeah. And a couple of turns of grinding that. Just a space a turn whilst... Rogue is yeah, going to come in, his... isn't it? Yeah. Rogue is going to come in, but yeah, it was fair. Rogue, on, Rogue on the mummy, and now he tries to halt the entire advance, doesn't he? Yeah. Yeah, the mini is cool apart from the head, you know, it's weird. <laughs> Little purple cap. <laughs> So yeah, he's got it right hemmed in down the side. Oof. Most reliable big guy in the game there. Never fails to activate. <laughs> Only if it's got someone to feed on, Jim. Ah. He deliberately didn't leave anyone there because it can be ruinous to your rats if you do let it chomp down. Oh, yeah. And this is not a game saver, is it? This is just uh, nice to knock that mummy over. Yeah. But still, the progress forward is, is largely halted right now. They are hemmed in up this flank. olivia has got them exactly where he wants them. Yeah. Only gets to foul the guard. Okay, and no damage. No, not blitzing. Yeah, not blitzing with the mummy's a choice. Mm. It's not the choice I'd have made, but it's a choice. Well, this means he gets to blitz that one as well, except it's a bit far for his tackler to go, isn't it? Yeah. I'm not sure hitting the gutter is my optimal choice either. Mm. That's what he's going for. Gets well, I, would have, I mean, I'd have blitzed it, but I wouldn't have hit it with the mummy. Yeah. You know what I mean? I'd have maybe given the mummy a three die after that blitz. Mm. And he can foul this as well, though, which is good, isn't it? It is. And he can jam himself even more on the sideline. But it does. <laughs> I was going to say, it does just... It absolutely says yummy to that trap, doesn't it? Yeah. But is, <coughs> is it a trap if it means he gets to remove a sidestep gutter, you know? And uh, he's, he's got a frenzy rat ogre, and it's, it's, it's a long Dimmy's way putting away. lots of forces near the edge. It's a long way away. He's not getting a surf this turn. But Olivia has absolutely shown him into this space. Yeah. So let's see what he does with him now he's in it. Yeah. Where's the ball going, Tim? Um... Where, where this guy is going to foul yeah. is, uh, yeah, yeah. he's going to have to put it here, I guess. Yeah, yeah, that's okay. Mm. Ugh, diced. Didn't get sent off at least. I don't like just standing up to get mighty blow, but I guess they were getting around the back a little bit if he didn't, so it was a bit of a tough spot for that zombie, wasn't it? Yeah, I mean, I think just holding one of those rats up there isn't the end of the world. If it's the mighty blow one, all to the good. The problem Olivier's got is he needs to get this uh, rat ogre back slightly more over to the other side of the where the action is happening. Yeah. And as Jim says, it's not really in range this turn. There is a creative way you could do it. You could do it using the white to push it into the mummy. Thus, afterwards, the white should be down and the mummy should be gone and you can run away. But... You only get to sort of between where the leader thrower is and the wrestle gut at the space under there is probably where you're trying to head to. I think if he gets the power, he'll put in the guard hit and then, and then try and power. Pow, try to power the. Yeah, this is the problem with starting oh, up. Oh, yes. Yeah. <laughs> Mighty Blow did its job. Yeah. So he can block this one, can't he? And then if he powers it, um, then he can just bit some. Then he can just rattle you straight in on the mummy, yeah. yeah. Yep. Oh, he's going back with it. Mm. God. Interesting. 
<laughs> I know he was doing your idea wow. of the chain, but he goes. Good job he's got the most reliable big guy anyway, hasn't he? You know, like that. Uh... <laughs> yeah, without that, he might be in some difficulties. Yeah. <laughs> Feeding his mighty blow blitzer, lovely. Well, isolating the white there does does some good jobs, but having now moved the runner, which he, he needed to, that white now slips out on a 3-plus around the back of all these rats, which is a horrible place for it to go. Well, I think we mummy block first, brainlessly mummy block, and see what happens. Yes, yes, Timmy. <laughs> What, hit things with big mighty blow hitters? Yeah. That's never going to catch on, Jim. Oh, no, it's not. Okay, he gets a pal. Oh. Well. Yeah, this has got a fair enough. Oh. Anytime you kill a gutter, you're doing God's work. God, now he's just got to, like, cage up behind the mummies pretty much, yep. hasn't he? Well, I think you need to take a hit on this mighty blow. That's spicy. Very spicy. Uh, he sees the space. He's after some space here, Jim. Yeah, I guess he is. Now, I do like this space, but the problem with this space is there's a rat ogre right by this space. Yeah. Oh, my. Oh, okay. Wow, this is some space he has seen. This is very spicy, relying on the uh, ghoul dodge, isn't he? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven... GFI, Ghoul Dodge and GFI. Yeah, Ghoul Dodge and GFI. Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah, I was no. going to say he can't. He, he can't close the front, so he's not going to bother. He needs to because the rat ogre can just go around the front. Yeah, he has to. Yeah, he has to. So yeah, GFI there. This and was he does very spicy. One. This could have all just been one square back, right, and just been would have saved. Yeah. Everything. Want to save these two needed GFIs. Yep. Now, if he can drop the zombie on the mighty blow and dodge the white off, is what I would do here. Mm, I think he'll just punch. Well, no, maybe he's, Lovely. Maybe he's going to dodge. Yeah. Now you run away. It's a lot more use further forwards. He does. Oh, 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 oh okay. <laughs> okay, yeah, yeah, I'll buy that, Demi. It's as much use there. Yeah. That's doing good work. I well, nice play from Dimmy there. It would have been yeah, a lot better on turn he... seven, wouldn't it? Is the problem. Yeah, that's the problem. Is He can probably get in on seven. Is there any possible way he can hold this out and go in on eight? Mm. Although with no rerolls, maybe even going in on seven isn't as straightforward. No. I think he's got to try to get in on seven. I think he just has to try to get in on seven now. At the end of the day, like the one turn's pretty reliable for Olivia, so it's not too bad scoring. Leaving him two turns and three rerolls. I think that says one one at the half to me. But yeah, I mean, you see how this turn develops. I still don't hate the top right corner as a place to run to, yeah. if I can get away with even a couple of ghouls and the ball. I might be looking to do that once further storm. Oh. oh, I wanted the rat to go stupid. Mm -hmm. Is he going to dodge the mighty blow and the guard? Because he wants to try to dodge both. I would. Particularly with three rerolls. Yeah, I might not. Yeah, and what's interesting think. now is that gives him this guy's free. First of all, the punch for this school the punch. Also, he can uh, he can block this guy and free the uh, yeah. He could put it in there for three D there to free the tackler, which is yep. really nice, isn't it? Really nice play there from Dimbo. Yes, lovely. Dimbo, actually, out of a uh, doesn't look like he's stalling though. No. Three D, three D the leader. Let's go, pal. Oh, 
Yeah, yeah, maybe, maybe what he could have done was after freeing him, he could have blitzed the blitzer, ran down, so he'd have had two players to screen, wouldn't he? He'd have had a two-player screen, and then dodge it's the ball. It's probably not enough against this many girls. And dodge the, he could have, it, would have, it wouldn't have been too hard to get a full cage, but yeah, it's not easy, is it? Like I don't know how he's hitting this guy now. I guess blitzing like, him, one, two. Probably with a, yeah, one, two... Three, four, That's five, six, seven. Two GFIs. Mm. Triple him. What is he doing here? So he's gonna. He's gonna stall. Dodge is better than a GFI at least, but he's gonna do two as well. Yep. Maybe. Well, he's got to, doesn't he? The problem is that he should be three, here. I mean, three, he's stall, shouldn't he? Three one in nines to stall, and even then you'd want to do the GFI first, and then a lot of GFIs after the one in nines. I just don't think it's feasible, but I've been wrong before. I think if he'd gone here, it's not too bad, right? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So if you put it in the right square... <laughs> yeah, he could have got there. Yeah. With just the three one in nines. Yeah. He is going for it. Unfortunately, he's definitely in the wrong square. What is he doing here? This is this doesn't work, Dimmy. No. Oh, dear. And if any of these one in nines failed... Yeah, yeah if, he'd, if it had all been one across, it would have been as good as he could have made it. But whereas I see ways into this cage. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> he actually wants to it hold might... off the guard, right? So that if he just gets a push, he can put the guard in. So yeah, very easy. Very easy to get this. Ooh. Oh. Interesting. I feel like he should have assisted from the other square, right? But he gets the full power anyway, so there you go. Well, sometimes it's better to be lucky than good. <laughs> Brilliant. Not shocking that he's found a way into this cage, Jimmy. No. But it's not too great, is it? Because it's like all of his good as I didn't I didn't like this so much. This good He's gonna have to come with the wrestle piece, isn't he? No. Nope. No, he's gone for strip, but I mean he's used all his good as, hasn't he? He's yeah. used all his good as is the he's problem. He's got no fetch it? piece except the piece stripping. Yeah, like if he just hadn't moved this, he would have, uh, he would have had a good as. Oh. oh, it's a pretty good scatter for him. Great scatter for Dimmy, just a 2D for a push, and then yep. he gets a power. It's I think Olivier's stick. got to go back and get that now. Yeah. With Bri the gutter. Brilliant stall by Dimmy. <laughs> Might kill a gutter runner out of this as well. <laughs> okay, that doesn't help, though. I don't. No. This is not a good Oh, plan he's got another Olivier. gutter here. He's, he's got, got another gutter, gutter okay. Here. Okay. And three rerolls, so he can reroll that. Well, there so, we are. Another lodge got there, hiding, hiding <laughs> in front of a mummy. Well, now it looks a bit shit for Dimmy. <laughs> now that's yeah, this a lot. does look now quite difficult for Dimmy. <laughs> yeah, but no counter score yeah. at least. There's the white so, off the roger. That would be my route, I suppose. Honestly, not that bad, right? This is just or the like four Dimmy three with the tackle. One turned. Probably best with the four three with the tackle, because then if you get there, you can at least do something once you've got there. Yeah, yeah. Um, Instead of just the four with the guard piece, it's four three with the tackle piece. Um, what he could probably do is block with the mummy, then one, bring six, the three, other four, mummy five, in, six, and then dodge with the guard, and then run around, and then and then you can block him and chain him. So it's just a three for the. I was going to say, the mummy can just block that piece behind the tackle, and then it's a 3-2. Oh, two yeah, you just go up this way, yeah. Yeah, and then you can you can block him twice if you have to. 
And then one, two, yes. three, four, five, six. Yeah, 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 that's pretty good. And then this guy can dodge off. Oh, it's a four for him anyway, isn't it? Because of the tail. It's a four because of the tail. Yeah. So you can dodge off to help afterwards. So that's why he's gone one further away. I think he sees that as the main threat. Yeah. So yeah, this is the play. Yeah, just clear. And you hit it diagonally from the right hand side over the rat ogre side to hit it back towards where the pack is. And that clears your route for someone to come out and fetch it. Okay. Yeah, brilliant. So now you can get one out to get there. Now yeah. you just need to knock the fucking ball over. Has he seen the 3 2 2? No. Or has decided against it, one of the two. Gets a full oh, pow! Gets the full pow! Has he got. Oh no! No! Well, he can. He's got a GFI the... in the end zone, hasn't he? Yeah. Go to the, does he? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Yeah. May as well just leave it for the white to come get. And no, one, two, three, four, five, six. No, the one on the rat oak was the only one that can get there. Yeah, but that's what I'm saying. So he could have GFI'd in here. And then he could have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight handoff. No, but then this, yeah, might as well just do a four. Yeah. Do a four, four, yeah, three, two, three. Two threes, yeah. Oh, if only you'd done the blitz with this guy, yeah. If only you'd done the blitz with this guy, then then this one would have had the movement to score. So we're in for a four, three, two, two. Oh no, he just went through. Brilliant. Easy. Oh, easy Give game. Give me the champ. Give me the champ. Well, he did the four three in the end, which is <laughs> my first thought. <laughs> yeah, brilliant. Easy, easy work for Dimmy G. Perfect hit, turn stall. Um, but outbashed by uh, by rats is sad, isn't it? And basically impossible to stop one turn. But only one reroll now. I think for a it, I think it one nil up. You just have to say that was a perfect little drive from Dimmy. It was. There's yeah. no no other response. Yep. No notes. It's really hard, isn't it, against the sidestep and with friend like the juggernaut, roger and sidestep. I think backline is the best, honestly. I think backline is definitely the best. Then he's got to do a four plus, right? It, this is shit. Sorry, Dimmy. Olivier has rather foolishly, having had three rerolls in the bank until that last couple of turns, gone yeah. down to only one. Well, I mean, it, that's probably the best way of stopping him. It's just that he runs out of rerolls and eventually rolls some poor dice. Yeah. Yeah. Oh. No, I think this is as good as backline, to be honest. This is the standard NAF defence, isn't it? I don't think it's good enough. I don't think it's good enough. I think I think backline is better. No, Dimmy's backlining. Against, against Juggernaut, Frenzy, Roger, and Sidestep, <sighs> I just think it's too fucking easy to beat it and not have to dodge at all, right? That's it the kind of is, yeah. That's the problem. At least now you, you've, hey, you've packed him at 75%, haven't you? Hello, Inarion. Right now he's capped at 75%. I don't even know. It's it's, more, it's less than that, isn't it? But um, it's a four and a three and a two. So, like, he's capped at, like, something. <laughs> I don't know what it is. But, um, you know, that's good. And I'd only have re-rolls for two of those three, maximum. Yeah. So dodge once and one reroll, and that reroll has to pick the ball up, get the ball to the gutter, get the gutter moved in range, and the gutter over the line. Yeah. It's it's not a gimme, but it's also something Olivier is very very practiced at doing. Yeah. Just the dodges is sixty four percent. So, you know that's probably better than trying to stop him. You know, getting the getting at like because he could have blitzed around and got him out um out there and not dodged at all if he'd done the other way or he could have blitzed uh, if he'd start if he'd started closer he could have blitzed him back into the sidestep and all sorts it was just too too easy to get the uh, pushes oh uh, telecus has asked if oh. Eliod's around and the answer is no Eliod isn't it i am here <laughs> <laughs> Oh, Elliot. <laughs> oh, the quick snap didn't work, of course, because he didn't have an extra player for the quick snap. Nope. 
something to think about in the in the new rules, isn't it? The extra, the extra quick snap fella. Now he finally has someone in place. <laughs> yeah. So the rat ogre's one yes. is meaningless. Yes, and that is the oh. oh. He powered oh. him. He took a pow. Oh, he don't. He, 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 yeah, he doesn't. He does. It's okay. He's got this hit. He's got this hit. Yeah, he can come the other way. I was like, what's he doing? But no, no, this is better. This is better. He only needs two pushes, doesn't he? <laughs> Sorry, I got a bit confused there. I thought he was. Well, they do. They do call him two push Olivier. I thought. I thought. I just thought he'd made him misclick, but um, he hadn't. And yet, had that been a lovely push, he'd have got an easy three. <laughs> I mean, yeah, maybe he could have pushed it three, to be fair, if he'd taken a push, but... Just so, so easy. Yeah. So here we go, but this is a hard If you part. love Blood Bowl and this Four doesn't break two. your heart, well, then we can't be friends. <laughs> he's, uh, what is he? 57, he's oh, only 57 at this oh. point. He was 57 at this point. There goes the re-roll. And it's not enough, Jim! Yes! <laughs> yes! There is yeah. a god in that heaven. Yeah. There's yep. a smile in Dimmy's heart. His perfect play throughout that controlled, <laughs> disciplined first half drive. Over the line with nary a thought. No danger on his score or his ball. And then somehow, somehow manages to do that. The toughest thing of all, and defend that one turn. <laughs> well done, Dimmy. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> yeah, Volk. I mean, it can be, right? It can be, because, because, like, you know, if it wasn't Olivier, you could try and set up in some anti one turn defense that might work. But if you're playing Olivier Dulac or K Fog or Elyod, or someone else who's a top tier soul, right? They they're gonna make the one turn, so there's just no point trying to defend it. But like, if you're playing somebody who isn't as practiced with rats or who isn't as good a player, then they might mess it up if you try and do a push like a push denial defense. But yeah, unfortunately, <coughs> unfortunately, um, with with Juggernaut, Roger, and a sidestep gutter, it's just too easy. Yep, it's just too easy. I think it's un impossible to defend somebody who knows what they're doing. I don't think most people do at all, though. I really don't think that. And I think the Season 2 Finals would prove you wrong on that. Um, <laughs> Blood Bowl 3. You can watch the playlist on my YouTube. And uh, there were some good players. Some good players who were good at Blood Bowl, but didn't play that much Skaven. And, uh, you know, they were they were playing, you know, either Skaven or uh, mostly Underworld, right? And you could just tell that they weren't very good at one turns. And, and when they were faced with, like, you know, a different look than normal, they, they weren't exactly sure how to beat it. So, I mean, top players who play Skaven are Underworld, yes. But even top players who don't play Skaven don't necessarily know how to deal with one-turn defences. <laughs> Seeing most people is clearly wrong. I'm sorry, most people are in bronze <laughs> on Blood Bowl 3. Most people definitely don't know how to one turn. <laughs> yes, the defence is taking the rogue around in the first half. Yes. Or the sidestepper, and all the gooders, yeah. Yeah. Most people don't play Blood Bowl, yeah, yeah. Even better Thulean, yeah. And the coach. <laughs> <laughs> and the coach, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Take the coach out, you're definitely going to win. Yeah. The, the key to being to stopping the Olivier de like one turn is to just basically buy him five beers and hopefully, <laughs> hopefully by the time he gets to the one turn, you know, he's going to make a mess. And plus, if you try the anti one turn defense, you can mess it up yourself, right? Like like we saw Strider. Strider's a top player, right? And we saw Strider mess up the one turn defense. Andy Davo's a top player. We saw Andy Davo mess up the one turn defense. So two top players messed up their one turn defense. So that, that also makes me think don't even try and just backline it. But Are we ignoring the time you just left a gaping hole in the middle of yours, Jim? Not versus rats. <laughs> 
<laughs> I did it versus a bull centaur. <laughs> In my defence. <laughs> In my defence, it was versus a bull centaur. And, and it was only because I rejoined the booth and was celebrating having won the game. <laughs> Glorious folk. Wow, kid. So this is a very, very tight setup here, isn't it? Very tight. So I like, I like getting on the sides a little bit. And it's odd because, I mean, like elves, you'd have thought rats much prefer making the the ball very vertical. The field was wide as possible. Mm. Do you know what I would have done here? I would have put in the ghoul there, I know it's only 2D, but then if you blitz with a tackle, it can only sidestep to to here, right? And then, you know, it can only sidestep to here, like this one, right? If you So you put the ghoul in there, blitz this one, push him into this one, and then it can only sidestep to here. Uh, and then if it doesn't sidestep, you push it to there, and then you get to hit it on. Oh, no, you get the hit with hit the hit mummy, on. yeah. The mummy's already activated. Oh. I guess he knocked over the mummy. But that, that's what I was thinking, I guess. I hate that it doesn't show you when it's the one that's activated, right? But it was just, I'm sure it was white when I thought of that. But this is fine. Oh, fails the dodge. That would have been nice, but not if he hadn't blocked it. <laughs> um, these gutters are tough as shit. Like, honestly, Dimmy has, like, uh, you know, as much as he got into trouble with that drive, he'd been outbashed that drive. Um, which is crazy, yeah. right? He's got fucking mummies that are smashing Armour 7 with, well, Armour 8 Plus with Mighty Blow. And, and doing nothing to them, yeah. Yeah. Although he hasn't been as careful about getting three dies as he could, but he still had enough good solid hits you'd have expected some more damage on the, the yeah. rat bench by now. Oh, here we go, though. We're going to see a foul. He's also fouled a load because he's had a bribe. And he's fouled a fair amount. And now he's probably the first foul from Olivier is going to kill a mummy, I imagine. <laughs> In classic Blood Bowl style, Olivia's first foul will dispatch this mummy after Dimmy's made God knows how many. Well, we, I was going to say, we've still not screened off this um, this ball from these two ghouls in the backfield. No, yeah, it might have been an idea Which to have just screened that off I'd have first. maybe done that a tiny bit earlier. Yeah, even this could have been in one, case one any in 36. Of these... Exactly, the one in 36 first. there and the ball's just completely exposed. Yeah, yeah that was very uh, careless. From Don't like the turn ordering there, Jim. Not yeah. for me. No. Nope. In my day, you whew, would have said that was wrong. Yep. If Artemis was here, he'd be going. <laughs> he'd be saying something, that's for sure. Only a stun. Phew. Dimmy can breathe a sigh of relief. Oh, that frees up the money. That's not too bad. Doesn't get hurt, though, does it? <laughs> <laughs> of course it's yeah, you'd fine. Yeah, want you'd want it at least stunned. These are iron um, rats. Because the problem is, if you bring that mummy over this side, then a side swap from the rats is so easy to do. Hmm. However, if I'm them, I just pile up this left flank, I think. I would be looking to score early. I think Dimmy's offence was... Um, well, had, had mixed results, let's say, despite eventually being successful. Yes. If I was Olivier, I would I would still fancy the win here. Yes. But I don't know the game state. Is it? This is a straight semi, is it? So if there's a draw, does it go to a... It does go to all the time. Right. It does. That, that delayed the start well, by half an hour for me to try to do it, because I'd forgotten. Um, well, maybe you take the 50-50 shot of just the easy win, then. Now, the problem is, though, like although the dice have been great so far... That doesn't mean they're going to stay great, does it? So... Yes, as Skaven, you only need a couple of bad turns, don't you? And suddenly you're down to seven players. Yeah. So playing for overtime is, is a bit dangerous in itself. Plus you could just get snake, right? You could just snake and that's it. Thanks, Tuck Tuck. If you particularly want to celebrate me being back in the booth, then do feel free to go on eBay and search up the One World, One Blood Bowl dice that are currently available there. There you go. I have merch. Fifty episodes, Jim. It is a lot, isn't it? It's pretty well, fifty-one cool. now. Pretty cool, the old old. Oh yeah, the last one was your European one, wasn't it? It was. 
I haven't finished. I haven't finished nice the Toxic Elite one yet. To be honest, I won't oh, that was great. That was so yeah. good. Oh, thanks, Steve. But yeah, I got a, I got a few more coming up, so I think we'll make it towards sixty certainly, and then we'll see how we go as always. Glorious. Uh, this is a bit, bit, bit bad. Oh, thank you. Didn't try to defend his. Yeah, because he's obviously getting oh, get stunned again. Dimmy getting away with it. I would have uh, next one is, is, is he going to pile in two weeks week? time? Talk about it. Mm -hmm. Yeah, me too. I think this is. It's time to shit or get you know get off the pot right now. Yeah. Also, he I think both teams moment. are in slight disarray. Dimmy's defense isn't as solid as it could have been. There was space that now isn't. Mm. Olivier's. I mean, it's it's there the team, but it's looking loose and a little bit ragged. I think piling in now is is a good option. Yeah. Plus, if he's going to break through and score, you want him to do it early, giving you maybe four or five turns back. Yeah. So now is the time that it doesn't matter if they push through as long as you can get after them and make them score. Yeah, yeah we just had one exactly out to joy. There was one on Sunday. It went out live a couple of days ago. And there's one in a week and a half which will be on the Euro Bowl, so the other side of it. Uh, we've currently got the captain of England, the captain, the captain of Ireland, the captain of America, and an England player coming on to discuss all of that. Why should and we care? England. How did it all go? Well, the Rake, who's uh, just a squad player from England. I think whilst it's all up in the air with Team England, I don't want to talk to the great and the good up there, really. I have decided not to stand for England, Captain Jim. Mm -hmm. mm. Has Yudi got your vote? Oh, sorry, no, I don't. I don't want to be. I don't want to be accused of. Uh, I don't know yet. Of uh, what's it called, meddling? But uh... <laughs> if there's only two candidates come forward so far. We have a ways to go till the end. Oh, there you go. But I discussed with one of those candidates their candidacy, and our platforms were so similar on so many issues that I just thought it would be ridiculous for me to also stand. Mm -hmm. So whilst I remain to be persuaded, I think there's two very good candidates come forward so far. Yeah. Well, um, so I want to see what they both say before I fully decide, but I just think I would only muddy the waters in what I already feel is a strong enough field without me. Mm. Well, for me, I mean, I, I, I'll say this, it's okay, right? It's not, it's not like, it's not It's not anything. But yeah, Yudi, Yudi was going for like non-playing captain, I think. And I think non-playing captain is just like so amazing. It's like so good to have somebody there as a, as a non-player. Uh... I definitely think the England team should consist of nine people, at least. Yeah, yeah. And the problem is getting someone to do it, isn't it? That's, that's, the, that's the, the hardest French had part. 11. Wow. The French had eight players and three non-playing team members. Wow. Who were offering support there in case anyone fell ill. They had to communicate between the boards. Wow. So a captain and two assistants and then the eight team members. Wow. And use chess clocks from the start of every game. Yes. Wow. Well, I might just become French then. <laughs> You see, my view, Jim, was that we used to have a team that was the best team in the world because they were the only one that really was a team, mm. that knew each other well, that performed and acted as a team, communicated well between them, set good goals, and were the best at the Blood Bowls. But during COVID, everyone else sort of caught up in terms of how they played Blood Bowl. The thinking in terms of how you run a team went beyond them. And whereas that classic team got a bit old and some of them went out of the game, what replaced them didn't have the same shorthand communication and it wasn't ever replaced with sort of proper communication so I think we, we are behind the French in terms of how we run the team run the tournament communicate as a team uh, and hence get the results the good news is we've got some of the best players in the world so it should be solvable Ooh, he argues but I do the think call. the non-playing captain is the way forward yes he, used, he argued the call first, then used the bribe, which is uh, right. a little bit greedy, isn't it? A little bit greedy. He's more likely to get sent off by arguing the call first. Yes, and if the coach is sent off arguing the call, you then can't bribe. Yeah, well, no, yeah, yeah. I don't know if you can on Blood Bowl 3, but on tabletop you can't. Yeah, no, exactly. Yeah. And uh, also... Um, uh, 
Anyway, it doesn't matter. <laughs> it doesn't matter. The point is he rolled a, he rolled a, he rolled a six on the bribe, so he's all right. Um, this is pretty rough, isn't it? Both mummies wildly out of position. Um, looking like the half's over, basically. Just has yep. to do some damage, except he's got a ghoul getting fouled, a blodge ghoul's getting fouled, so he's not he's not winning the damage either. Yeah, talk I was going to apply as a sort of a playing captain or non-playing, depending on what resources I felt were available. And if I really felt I was stronger than the eight, then I would take a seat. But if not, I wouldn't. And if I did, then I would assure I had a, a team manager in place who would handle the, the actual tactics during the match. With a tiny bit of communication with the captain, but I would see the captain. I, I think moving forwards, it's... A non-playing manager is more important than who is named captain. If you call that captain or manager or coach or whatever, who cares? Yeah. But I think you need an eye outside of playing the games. GFI. I hate this GFI by Dimmy. I don't know what the purpose is. And now he's failed it and he's down and he's killed. Uh, well, that's a triple punishment. Yeah. Um, I mean, it was, I think, to... I don't know. I didn't like it. I mean, if you do it, put the reroll in. But I just don't think he should have done it. And then, and then he would have still had a ghoul. Because <laughs> you need three rerolls, right? Because it looks like you're not stopping this, and it looks like no, you're going overtime. So you need three rerolls. So yeah. in that case, just don't make that GFI. Yes, your safety parameters change, don't they? You go into a twenty-four fo turn format in your head. Hopefully remove then, any rats ever. <laughs> and it seems to I mean to me that's removed all doubt. The rats are now stalled up in range. Yeah. In good order. It's gonna be hard to see this. This citadel assaulted, isn't it? Yeah. Particularly with the Roger being good and taking part. This miniature citadel. Ooh. Yeah, I took the both down. Oh, it was a wrestle, of course. Yeah. Gets to foul the gowl again. Or maybe not, it could just use it to block. Because the bribe's going to now get the cards. Oh dear, this is. Regen fails off. Yeah, that's both whites off the pitch. Yeah. One out of the game. Fought, right? He should have focused on fighting. And he's even losing the fight as well. Yeah. But that's because he's not fighting around his mummies, is he? He's no. abandoned them. Yeah, well, he went back to try and stop the score a bit, whereas he should just yeah, in the Yeah, exactly. Mummies. And at that point, he got picked off. The mummies got abandoned and the rats took over. Mm. But, I mean, I'm not saying he did anything wrong, but that's the same old story. We've seen that happen before. Yeah. That's why you don't skill your mummies in NAF style. It's because they always get abandoned at moments like this. <laughs> it's not GG, Volk, Pirate Bear. It's not over. Don't say it's over. It's, uh... That's going to take us to a very tight overtime. Yeah. Well, tight as long as Dimmy gets the ball. <laughs> somewhat, somewhat simple if Olivier does. Also, Dimmy could get timeout and uh, get a two-turn chance to score, right, in normal time. So, don't yeah. score one turn, but... Uh, yeah, that's the sort of thing that happens in a Blood Bowl game. Yeah. I've seen it happen to other people. <laughs> I've never been that lucky, but... Uh, yeah, you've got to put people. the other mummy on the... Exactly there on the back side of that chunk of people. Yeah. Keep them all honest. I've seen it happen to other people. <laughs> I don't think you can want realistically one turn with a, with a guru. Like, obviously, you can, but it's not a realistic goal, is it? Dibby, of course, just realizing he has absolutely nothing in front of this cage. <laughs> <laughs> but, you know. Achievable goals, Dim. Achievable goals. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, you have to, like, switch gears and just think. How yeah. Do I, how do I max my banging? I've I've given it well, two or three turns ago. You know, it you, might even switch. force the rats in. He's put everything in some quite decent spots. You'd really want some of these to be pushes, though, if it was going to force them in. Not mm. this. Really not this. Mm. Definitely not stunning the mummy. <laughs> No, this is the problem. You're getting your mummies hit. And yeah, which as long as they didn't get 
knocked in, as I said, might have forced the score, but with one stall, stunned now, I think the stall is inevitable and pretty much as long as Olivier wants it to be. Oh, double one. There's a chance. Well, there were a couple of turns where that would have been ruinous. This turn, slightly less so. Double G5 for a 1D. Yeah, I'm definitely worth it. Mm. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, yeah. I mean, you can cut one of those corners. Oh, yeah, yeah, that's better. Whilst you've got the rerolls, you probably don't need to. Yeah, yeah it's maybe better. To, it's maybe better, maybe worse to do it. Yeah. Just pile the rerolls in in the modern game, Jim. Yeah, and then just force him in, and then you've got two turns to score. Happy days. Yeah. I mean, you probably are forcing him in, but if not, I'd do it now so you've at least got something to maybe try and stand up and do something about it. Gets the full power! Gets the big old pow! What, is, he gonna get, is it going to go on the crowd? No! No! Diced. No. Diced. Possibly the worst possible bounce spot for Dimmy. And that, that was a bonus to the uh, make and the dodges that he would have had another GFI to go and pick it up here, right? Which... Might not have been the correct play, but it would have been an option. Well, yeah, he's got to come with this ghoul on a 4+, plus, I suppose. Yeah. GFI once or twice with the tackle, and maybe twice, right, for tackle. And, uh, I think maybe twice with him. That's pretty solid. Mm. Why didn't the ghoul dodge out? Oh, because it's the only thing sat on the rat ogre. Yeah. So, he, uh, yeah, if you get out, which is... You know, only one in four to fail it, but still. Then the rat ogre is free to come down there, which you don't want. Mm. Yeah, unfortunately, very easy to deal with, isn't it? But not maybe not easy to stall out. Oh! oh! Ah, boom. Um, boom! I mean, you could just pick it up and run over to the other side of the pitch, don't you? But Not so easy now. You've kind of walled off making that easy. Yeah, he's just, he's picked, the fact he's picked up with a throw means he he's either goes in well, or he cages here. I mean, you can dodge through the wrestle ghoul, but then it leaves the wrestle ghoul to come hunt you down. No, he is going to stall exactly yeah. in spot. Okay. Yeah, that's doable. Mind you, 4 3 to get one die. Kill has got to run out. No, he didn't even kill it. Wow. 4-3 to get a one die again with the ghoul with block. Yeah. That thing's horrible. I don't think I'd put any of my three rerolls into it, but I might do if I get there and see the one die. Yeah. Are we sure that Yeah, all? that closes that door. Now the wrestler can come in for a 4-5 to 1-D. Yeah, a single 5 for the 1-die. It's not terrible, is it? If you put a reroll in, that's 55% to make happen. Yeah. Oh, yeah, the tackler could just go straight on a 5. Yep. And then, again, you can get the push into the... Uh, for oh, no, forcing him in isn't good enough. <laughs> it's turn 15. You'd have to just 50-50... 50-50. It's not terrible, though, is it? It's not terrible. I'd be taking that five all day. I might even put the reroll in to make it 55% for the wonder. I quite like that. I wonder if doing a 4-5 but not re-rolling it is better. <laughs> nah, hit with the tackle. Go for it, Dibby, go for it. it. Looks like he's going for it, but does he put the reroll in? Oh, I don't like moving more people. The problem is, like, you really need the... Yeah, anything you've got in case it's somewhere you want to stand by. Now, now I'm not re-rolling it. Based on there's no one to react. And he's 1D'ing the roger here. Yeah, I don't hate that. It stops him getting served. So I think he's not going to re-roll it. Go. Doesn't have oh, to re-roll it. Oh, he gets that! Come on, re-roll it, re-roll it, re-roll it, re-roll it. I hate the re-roll, to be honest. No. Yeah. Except he, that it's a score. Yeah, you had nothing left, did you? It's a shame that he didn't get the push last time, honestly, because at least he would have had a two-turn chance instead of... 
an easy stall, but there you go. Heavily outbashed here. Kaz, Kaz Lino doesn't matter, but the uh, guard blitzer is terrible, isn't it? KO'd Ghoul and done nothing to rats. Nothing. Literally nothing to them. Hitting with two mighty blow mummies most turns. Olivier leaving things on the mummies to tie them up. Mummies hitting them and the rats going, ha ha, we're fine. Yeah. Very blood bowl. Yeah. And if Dim doesn't get the overtime ball, this is over. If he gets it, realistically, I still back Olivier. But yeah, he's got a he's got a chance. He's got a chance because the dice can still turn. The dice can still. Of course, still they turn. can. Five rats can disappear in two turns, no problem at all. Yep. One turn at Dim, you know. There's, there's not a one turn from there. Cool. It's not going to happen. Ah, so Dimmy gets the cheerleader, but it's only for this turn, right? It's only for this turn. Yes. So he does want a greed reroll if he doesn't power the money. He powers with them both. I mean, it is possible, but it's it's not even a good idea to try the one turn with a, with a girl because you're better off smashing them three dice with mummies, right? That's just adding more. And by the time it comes to the 5 4 3, if you get there, all that's going to happen is your girl's going to trip and kill itself. Exactly, yeah. yeah. Oh, do we like the foul here, Jim? I. No. I mean, you're fouling no. to remove a rat that can be instantly replaced from the bench yeah. at no cost. Yeah, exactly. I yeah, just he don't. Realized. <laughs> he realised. Here we go. If they he were, if the they were at, at 10, then I might risk it if I was at 9 to try and, you know, get that swing in the numbers I need. But for changing 11 to 11, it just doesn't. That doesn't seem worth the risk to me. No. Did he win the toss, though? Did he win the toss? He failed a ghoul kill. <coughs> so good and bad. Yeah, 10 players. It's all right. It's not terrible, is it? And if he removes a few on the LOS, <laughs> maybe he finally removes a rat. <laughs> Well, he, I mean, that would be what I'd be thinking now as Dimmy. I wouldn't be thinking about the impossibility of beating Olivier with my slightly now duffed up undead team. I'd be thinking if I remove one rat, we're at equal numbers, then it's game on. Yeah. Removing a rat? Are you fucking crazy? <laughs> Sad that he hasn't even got his guard, right? If he his guard, he could just block straight ahead and stuff, but he hasn't even got that. Yeah, two, three dies, and then a two die. <coughs> so instead, I'd, I'd be setting up to open with a mummy, and for my third block to be a three die with a mummy. I'd, I'd, I'd put, I'd just forget the blitz a little bit, right? Like I'd still do my best, if, but then I'd go in for two here, and then three D with a mummy on the mighty blow guy. That's not terrible. Yeah, yeah, I don't hate that as it's exposed. Give it a smack. Yeah, and then block, block, and then three D to finish. To me, this is a little too cautious. Oh, oh, and then it is the blitz, so we're both proved wrong. The kickoff it's things wasn't any... a reroll. Sorry, yeah, it was cheering fans, and I was so you know I've played blood ball for thirty years. I thought cheering fans was the reroll, but of course it was the it was the trap doors, right? Sorry. Mystic Dimmy sets up against the blitz he feared and predicted, but unfortunately, it is the one space <laughs> over the line blitz that is just completely impossible to stop. Well, um, yes, a bit harder with ten players, wasn't it? If he'd had more, he could have. Like, it is better to go in like you know one forward, right? Yeah. In case of that, even but then, even then he couldn't because he was down a player. If he if he wasn't down a player, he would you would have had like two there, which would obviously been the best way, right? Two there, two there, and one here. Now Olivier only gets to move five, play. which is obviously going to stop him doing anything good here. And of course, that gutter only catches on a three, <laughs> and if it fails, then. Almost a third of the places it could go to are a touchback. Yeah, there's a chance. <laughs> there is a chance. There is a chance. But yeah, he needs a touchback. He needs a catch fail and touchback. Or catch. Yeah, both. He needs both. He needs a catch fail and a touchback. So basically, a one in nine. And push towards the edge. Don't push towards the edge. <laughs> Ooh, okay. So we can push the tackle in against the ball. Oh. Yeah. Yep. 
Yep, that's the that's the play. That's the play. Fill fill this. Blitz from here. Yep. But then there is a guard there, which is annoying, isn't it? Yeah, so it's a one die, but it's a blockless gutter, so it's still you know, fifty percent hit. You could actually probably just move this goo around as well, right? One, two, three, four, five, six. That was seven, gonna be my eight, fair charge, wasn't it? Yeah, but <laughs> unfortunately <laughs> Well you see I'm I'm cheeky in that I'm coming with the, the nearest mummy. Yeah. I mean freeing you kind my, of have to. Yeah, freeing my ghouls to do some recovering afterwards, so Yeah, you kind of have Because it's all or nothing, so He has freed that mummy. Yeah. I think this is the play we're gonna see, the two go for it's to hit the Roger. This you do need to stand up, yeah, to give the assist. This girl the has other... to come in there. No, no, yeah, no. Yeah. Oh, no, you can no, bits from you here. Can, you can do it sideways on, yeah. yeah. Bits from here. Oh, dear. Oh, he, oh, one. he snakes the GFI for the hit. Well, nice spot, Dimmy. I thought that was the right play. I thought you did it the right way, leaving the two ghouls to fetch afterwards. Either the long way around or the 4 3 off the mighty blow through that little gate there. So I thought it was all good, but uh, sometimes that doesn't get it done, does it? No. Oh. Right process and right outcome and not best friends in Blood Bowl. No. Olivier got, got a blitz and caught it and then Dibby snaked. <laughs> yeah, that's tragic, isn't it? That's mad that I only thought of hitting it into the three and didn't even notice this guard even after I said, oh, there's a guard there, it'll be in 1D, but I'd, I'd so, like, focused on the, you know, like, what's it yeah. called, uh, tunnel vision on, the, on these yeah, on the, the block as opposed to the T-shape, and actually both were there. Mm. Bad Jimothy. Blitz stats for raise. Dimmy will be fuming, won't he? Escape my little blitz again. <laughs> It's crazy how they just haven't had anything get hurt as well. It's insane. Now, does he just pop it in nice and early and get one on the board and say, eh, or does he stall out the entire half? I, I mean, think I'd he should stand the on the trapdoor as a joke. I do as well, just for the shits and giggles. <laughs> yeah. Just for dominance. Go on, go on, Olivia. Boo! <laughs> <laughs> I mean, there's still a chance to get this, isn't there? Unless he dodges this guy out. Punter, I will make you a prediction right now, which is if you ever see Blitz stats for race, they would only completely confirm exactly what you are looking at that data trying to find. <laughs> because we can always find what we want in data. So I mean, this is a 3 plus for a 2D on the board, essentially. Where am I missing that? This? Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's a little foolish. Um, however, you can't get there with the mummy, so you're going to have to go in with the rest of Ghoul. But you can get something back to cancel the, the gutter. Mm -hmm. So, yeah. No, I think you're right. That is what I would be doing. And this isn't helping. Mm -hmm. That is helping. That helps yeah, you. Yeah, I need the yeah, one die to be a pal. Yeah. Yeah. But that's not the first time Olivier has solved a problem very late in his turn, which is mm. interesting, isn't it? And if it's a pal anyway, you needed a pal to be a 2D anyway, so it doesn't actually change that much. <laughs> you know, just roll a 5 plus here. Easy. Yeah, that's the thing. If you just pushed it, then you were just getting a 1D, whereas now. If you power him, you're getting a 2D. And you'd have had to cancel the gutter as well. Whereas now, if you just full power him, you stand this up and you're straight into a 2D, aren't you? Yep. Let's go. Just roll a full power. Well, one in three of the time, you, you will. So it's definitely worth a try. Yeah. I mean, 55% of the time you will, I think. Yeah, I'd put the reroll on it. Yeah, I think you have to. And so far, Dim's been pretty hot on knowing not only the right play, but how important it is. Go on, Dimmy. Go on, Dimra. 
Use the reroll, Dave. Uh, uh. He kind of he can just blitz this gutter onto the trapdoor and see if it <laughs> see if it kills him. Yes. <laughs> Go on, get him, Dimmy. Boo. You don't even see the roll. I think you have to end your turn on it, which I'm not sure that is. As soon as a player is on a trapdoor square. Ah. You didn't see a roll, did you? Nope. Well, that fucking sucks. Oh, it was only... Ah, uh, yes. So they've stayed visual despite the fact they're not turned on anymore. Yeah, for this half. Ah. Oh. Ah. Oh. God damn it. A visual bug to ruin Dimmy's day. Yeah, it's programmed incorrectly. They should obviously disappear after after the half ends, shouldn't they? Yes. Restart the game. <laughs> Restart the game. <laughs> Visual book. <laughs> Rematch is the only fair way to deal with it. <laughs> I think we can all agree with this. <laughs> <laughs> Obviously, the armor of the Skaven is bugged. <laughs> I think that's, I think that's the main takeaway. This is a blitzer, all right. Errata, errata. Yes, exactly. Yeah, they forgot all of it. I imagine. Yeah, I imagine they, they didn't anticipate all the time. Hey, he's hurt himself. <laughs> yeah, that's the first rat hurt, and it hurt itself. <laughs> Fabulous. <laughs> and be a complete lie. Yeah, so I mean, I mean, this is all right, isn't it? It's a dodge in for a 2D. Yeah, but as important, you just need lots and lots of pressure on that cage. Get them over so that you can try and get them at least to a 50-50 with 2-2 and uh, face kicks. Mm. <sighs> God. But yes, you go in, but you make sure there's pressure for Oh my time. god, 181. Oh. <sighs> Other side, rats. <laughs> He's just taunting him now, isn't he, going on that square every time? <laughs> well, see, the problem is he's getting more and more reinforcements around the ball, uh, helping him stall even better. Yeah. Well, you just stopped moving. That, that was a unlucky. blitz. That was a blitz. He could have just... Oh, no, he was stuck on him. Okay, I didn't see. Yeah. Oh, man, that's so unlucky. Dimmy has been diced a bit, hasn't he? He's not had the best of luck. I mean, if he was Artemis, he'd call this a comedy mega. And uh, I think anybody would think this is a bit shit. Then another one in nine. Oh my god! Apart from how he scored at the end of the first half. Yes. Yeah. Okay. The, the score yeah. was pretty lucky. Yeah. But the score was pretty. The score was pretty lucky. <laughs> but never hurting a rat. I mean, come yeah. On. Yes, he has reasons to complain. Should have done the blitz with him, right? So that he would have, uh, he could just knock him down if he powered, like if he got both down. Whereas now, he died after wrestling, which isn't as good. And now he gets surfed, and it's all terrible. And now it is GG. But finally, yeah. Olivia de la finally made the playoffs. He hadn't made the playoffs in the previous two seasons. Um, but he was, he was only, ooh. 
he wasn't getting the package that was the thing he was he wasn't getting the you know the two point package um because we were just doing one package from europe one point package is not two because i thought seeing as some teams didn't really want a package um i thought it's a bit unfair to have like a two point package also because like you know teams you weren't necessarily going to be allowed a two point package right your teammates might be like you know no we you know the he wants zero and he wants two you only get one and stuff so like i thought okay, keep it fair just allow one point package but then this is the only time they were allowed two point packages and of course olivia to like meant that that he was using a two point package at Euroball. he was able to use his preferred build and it's a big difference isn't it getting that side step you know at the end of the day that makes the makes the one turn super consistent and uh, with that two point package he has now finally made the playoffs and the final very exciting versus either either Andy Davos Necro or Seabrose's Undead. Yes, onto the onto the onto the non existent trap. <laughs> oh, it was such a letdown. That was such a letdown. Well, I just don't see a way forwards here for Dim. No, no, he's... He's fucked. That ball is locked up tighter than a virgin on prom, mate. Unfortunately, it's just over now, isn't it? <laughs> There's nothing really to say. It's just over. No. No, and it being Dimmy, I don't find it funny. I mean, Olivier's a great player, but it's sad for Dimmy. Yeah. It would have been lovely for him to have taken out Olivier today. Yeah. But it doesn't alter the fact that Dimmy's found himself in this company and deserved to be there from the season he's played. Yeah. Played a decent game tonight. Um, we thought the drive forwards was good and solid till it all fell apart. And then he did the right things. Yes, he got lucky. He did the right things to get lucky. And similarly here, he's thrown, you know, his ball still against the wall in the right way. Mostly he's doing all the right things. And you can't just worry about the outcome. You've got to worry about the process. Exactly. Because in Blood Bowl, you can do all the right things and it can go wrong. So you just got to keep reminding yourself if they're the right things, that on balance, over time, that will tell. There are no dice. No. Only ideas. It's a very silly man once said. <laughs> but you know what he meant by it, Jim. Of course, of course. But there are just, dice, I can see he them. Just, <laughs> he just was deliberately obtuse in explaining himself to make sure that anyone that came to learn from his wisdom was putting some effort in to do so. Yeah. Oh, well done, another cast. Good, just what you need on turn 22. <laughs> well, what I particularly like about rock. that is, of course, that when he points at the stats, it'll show that they did take some casualties, and everyone go, what are you talking about? Yeah, yeah. It's always great when you get sort of three or four casualties in the last two turns, having not got any, to mm. really just annoy you. The variance has finally righted, but at the wrong moment. Yeah. Uh, is, was Dio before your time, Tal? Torquemada. Dionysian. Uh, Spence on Fumble. Dionysian on Blood Bowl 2 and. Uh, maybe Tabletop? Is he Dionysian on Tabletop? Uh, he's been all sorts. He doesn't really believe in fixed names, but yeah, it's mostly Dionysian on Tabletop. Mm -hmm. The Team Wales regular. Mm. Till very regularly. Till lately. He was going to go to Athens, but pulled out at the last minute. Mm. Has anyone spoken to him, do you know? Otherwise known as the Catholic method. Um, I mean, I had a chat with him a while ago, pre that, and he's just not loving this rule set. He finds it too too high variance, not enough sort of planning and equity involved when you can keep throwing re-rolls at a problem. He's less interested in that solving of that problem because it can be, you know, you can brute force it. Mm. So he just isn't as in love with the game. 
Well, that's good in that he's all right. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I mean, well, I say that. You ask him that, you know the sort of answer you're going to get from him. It's going to be amused, smug, and incredibly self-confident. It doesn't mean that's how he actually is, does it? No. But at least he's all right. Like, as in, you know, he hasn't been seen for months because, like, something's happened to him. No, nothing has physically happened to him that I'm aware of. Yeah. Could have surfed here, Demi, actually. Could have, but never mind. He didn't. Could have surfed the mighty blubber there. It's too yeah. Late. It's too late. It but matter. I kind of get what he's trying to do, which is, in some way, make some way that there might be a possible fail, but... I mean, it's a 1 in 36, but what else can you ask, really? I think it'd need to be two 1 in 36s, wouldn't it? Yeah, well, he's, yeah, he's got a chance. You can free the ghoul with a two die, and if not, you can dodge off, so... Yeah, there we are. Turns out it wasn't the 1 in 9 that needed to be to cause any kind of concern. But, again, doing the right thing. At least he gave himself that 1 in 200 shot, or whatever it was. There. Yeah. Actually, probably more like one in a thousand, but still. What, one in a thirty-six. Uh, Olivia is out of rerolls. Oh yes, so, good point. Yeah, well, so. there we are. Yeah, so a very good shot, three percent. Yeah. So yeah, no, all the right things, just not the right outcomes. Yep. Which is a shame because Dimi will continue to undersell himself as the top quality coach he's become. Yeah. I mean, he's definitely top 50 in Hastings. Well, I don't think he's going to regularly start winning tournaments, but I think any field he's in, you should take note that he's there. He's going to be towards the top end of it, I would have thought. Yeah, he's beat me a few times. He's, he's completely, completely... Very, very competent player. Yeah. Completely reasonable. <laughs> uh, had to be this versus Dimmy of all people. Like the number one complainer of Skaven Blitzes. He got blitzed on twice. And it doesn't really matter, the second one doesn't matter. It's just funny, isn't it? Well, you may tell me over and over and over again that you don't believe we're on the eve of destruction, but I tell you we are. <laughs> and uh, on Saturday, it's Seabroads versus Davor. We'll find out who is in. Unless you face rats, in which case it's about a one in three. <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah. More or less. Yeah. I think I think that sounds reasonable. <laughs> I've played Skaven before against Skaven, so yeah. The thing is, you see that that one in hundred and forty-four is. What that means is, for me, it's one in you know about one in ten thousand. And then for Chunter or Olivia de Lac, it's like 50 50, right? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Timmy fails the pickup. <laughs> well, a good game of Blood Bowl, but. I mean, I would say the expected outcome, it's not really expected. I, I genuinely think Timmy can give anyone a game, so. Hmm. If I had to have put money down, it would have been on Olivier, but not by. No, not. Not by a country mile, as they say. No, exactly. I mean, even if you thought it was fifty-one percent, if it was thought, if everybody in the world, <laughs> the Twitch world, thought he was fifty-one percent, then everybody would predict him. But uh, it would still be close, isn't it? Maybe yeah. it's not fifty-one, but you know, I think it wasn't. It wasn't too crazy for Timmy to win it. He just had to do any damage. Like, imagine if he'd done any damage. Yeah, and, and, we could have seen know, a very different game. Yeah, could have been. I mean, even Olivier, you know, built with thirteen rats, knowing that he didn't expect that many to live this long. But he has had a luxury of lap rats throughout this game. Yep. And considering that, I think Dimmy did very well. Yep. So there you and go. Even the time where he got lucky, he did the right thing in terms of getting lucky, and that's much more important. Yeah. 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 
So there you go, Mike. He did the brave. He did the brave breakthrough, didn't he? Um, yeah. And, and he did the, into the brave stall as well. So yeah, fair play. Fair play to Dimi. Um, you know, great result. Obviously, did better than most people in the Super League this season. Um, and there you go. Obviously, congratulations to Olivia who makes the final versus Andy or Seabulls. And uh, there you go. Thanks for watching, everyone. Thanks, PC. And uh, don't forget to leave a like, subscribe, and stay fantastic.